Hello, my name is Bose. Today we are going to be reading about the three little pigs. It's one of my favorite stories. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs who lived with their mother. One day their mother told them they were old enough to go out into the world and make a living for themselves. She said, watch out for the big bad wolf because he will eat you. She also told them, build your houses nice and strong so that you will be safe from the wolf. Then she said, goodbye my sons and good luck. The three little pigs went their separate ways. The first little pig saw a man stacking straw. The first little pig asked the man, May I have some of that straw to build a house? The man agreed, Sure, little pig. And the first little pig built his house very quickly. It wasn't a very strong house. One day the big bad wolf came and knocked on the first little pig's door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me in. And the little pig answered, No, 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 not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Well, said the wolf, Then a hop, in a puff, in a blew your house down. So he huffed and he puffed and he blew down the house <gasps> and ate up Ooh, the little pig. The second little pig was going along the road when he met a man stuck in a big pile of sticks. The second little pig asked the man, May I have some of these sticks to build my house? The man gave to him and the second little pig built his house of sticks. Then one day the second little pig heard a knock on the door. It was the wolf and he said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. The little pig said, No, 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 I won't let you in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. The wolf was so angry. He said, In a huff, in a puff, in a blow down your house. Then he huffed, then he puffed. And he huffed, and he puffed, and then he blew down the house, and ate up the little pig. The third little pig was walking on the road when he met a man with a load of bricks. The little pig asked him for enough bricks to build a house. The man agreed, and the third little pig built a house of bricks. The wolf came and knocked at his door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. The little pig said, No, 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 not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Hmm, said the wolf. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow down your house. Well, he got right away to walk. He started. <gasps> The more he huffed and puffed, the house of bricks wouldn't come down. My, my. <laughs> Mr. Wolf was so frustrated. Little pig, little pig. I know he was trying to be nice. I know where there's a nice field of turnips. The little pig said, where? The wolf answered, at Mrs. Smith's farm. We can go there together tomorrow at nine o'clock. The little pig nodded and said, nine o'clock, I'll be ready. The next morning the pig got up early and at eight o'clock off he went to Mrs. Smith's farm and got all the turnips that he wanted and he was home again by nine. The big bad wolf came around. <laughs> Little pig, little pig, are you ready? But the little pig said, I've already gone to the field and I've gotten myself some turnips. <sighs> said Mr. Wolf. Very well then. By the way, 
I know. There's a nice, nice apple tree. The little pig asked, where is it? The wolf answered, it's in the orchard across the field. I will come tomorrow at 8 o'clock and we can go together to pick some juicy sweet apples. The little pig said, 8 o'clock, I'll be ready. The next morning, the little pig got up at 7. Wow, he got up at 7. He ran to the apple tree across the field in the orchard. He climbed up the tree and started picking apples. Suddenly, he saw the big bad wolf coming. Wow, the big bad wolf was coming. The big bad wolf said, How are those apples? The pig answered, Great, here, catch one. And he threw it as far away as he could. The wolf was going after the apple and down jumped the pig from the tree and ran all the way home. Later on, the wolf came knocking and said, Little pig, little pig, there is a fairy town. Can I come by tomorrow at seven o'clock and we can go there? The pig replied, Seven o'clock, I'll be ready. But the pig went to the fair early and Butter Butter churned by barrel on his way home from the fair he saw the big bad wolf coming up the hill. The little pig hid himself in the big barrel which accidentally fell over and ran down and rolled down the hill. It rolled so fast that it scared the wolf into running away. He didn't even get to go to the fair. The little pig quickly ran all the way home. And he was safe. Phew. Later on, the big bad wolf came back again. And he told him about the fast rolling barrel, which had scared him. The little pig laughed. And he said, ha, 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 ha. I bought that barrel at the fair and I was inside when it came down the hill. <laughs> the wolf wasn't very happy. He was furious. Little pig, that's it. I'm going to come through down the chimney and I will eat you. Ooh. The pig quickly made a giant fire in the fireplace and he put a big pot of water into it. As the water started to boil, wolf started coming down the chimney and the little pig took the cover off the pot and plunk into the hot boiling water. Wait. Mr. Wolf, the little pig cooked him and ate him up for dinner. Mm, that was a good wolf meat dinner. I'm not so little anymore, said the little pig to himself, and he lived happily ever after. The end. Did you enjoy that? Yes, I did too. One of my favorites. Well, see you next week when we are sharing another story. Take care.